Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect Visual Studio Code with PostgreSQL, okay? Then I'm going to show you how to create tables in Visual Studio Code, then we'll insert uh, some values in the table, and then we're going to uh, do select from the table, okay? Uh, this is what we're going to do. So the first step is to, to install PostgreSQL in, in your system. So open the Google Chrome browser and in the search bar I will type download PostgreSQL, download this uh, installer file for Windows, uh, click Windows, download the installer file from here and then, uh, okay, the version that I'm going to download is 17.4 in Windows, okay, click this uh, link here and this is going to start the download process. Uh, look, look and download unverified. Okay, fine. This is going to start the uh, download process. So I'm going to cancel this because I already have this in my system. So I'm going to click this uh, installer file. Okay, so the installation process has been started okay setup now click next this is where uh, it will be installed click next okay i don't want this tool to be installed i only want these three tools click next okay click next now here you're going to set the password so i will set the password as admin this is the password that i'm going to use in in the later part so admin is my password next 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 and click next so the installation process has been started uh, so it is going to take some time to complete you have to uh, wait for a while okay So after taking some time, the installation process has been completed. So I'm going to click finish. Okay. Now I'm going to open from search bar. I'm going to open the PJ admin tool. So from this tool, I'm going to create a database. Okay. This is going to take some time to open. You have to wait for a while. Okay. Uh, waiting for PJ admin to start. Now go here and okay it will ask you to provide the password so i'm going to provide the password admin so this is the password which i recently set while installing the uh, postgresql okay just save this password okay admin is the password okay now by default you will see this database okay I'm going to create a new database for myself. So in order to create a database, you will go and right click create database and you will give the name. So let's uh, uh, give the name demo is the name of my database. Okay, save this. So the, pro uh, the, the database has been created with name demo. Now next what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the Visual Studio code and i will establish connection with this database okay so for that i'm going to uh, install few extensions so the first extension that i'm going to install is the sql tools so just copy this and paste it over here okay paste here and then you have to search so this is the extension that i'm going to install click install look it has been installed okay the second extension that i will be requiring uh, is is this so the driver okay the driver extension and the reason I, i'll be requiring this because since i want to connect to postgresql so this extension is going to help me to connect to postgresql okay enter okay this extension click install so it is installing it has been installed 
now next what i'm going to do i'm going to go here sql tools so i will create a new connection add a new connection i'm going to select this one and i will set a connection name so the connection name is going to be postgres okay postgres con now next server address is localhost uh, server and port connection string is going to be server and port and database is going to be demo so i'm going to use this database this one what about the username so the username i'm going to get is from here go to the properties go to the connection and this is going to be the default user so okay open the visual studio code and give the username and the password is going to be admin as well so i'll be requiring the password in the later stage okay just say, just save the connection save the connection and look and it will ask me a password so i have to provide a password as well connect now allow okay now i have to provide a password so the password is admin and press enter look the connection has been established now i will look this is the database okay now i am going to create a new sql file and i will create a table employee table here okay just copy this and paste it over here okay control v now run look it has been created now i am going to run it again so look I will get an error because this table is already present okay now the next step is to, to insert some values in the table so for that I'll be using this query okay just paste it over here and I will run okay uh, five rows have been inserted now I'm going to use the select statement select star from employee and i will run this query look i will get some data okay id name age and department and salary okay this is how you connect uh, visual studio code with with postgresql uh, i hope you have gone through the process thank you so much and have a great learning